السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا أرحم الراحمين We ask Allah عز وجل teach us what benefit us benefit us from what he taught us and increase us in knowledge آمين يا رب العالمين My dear beloved respected brothers and sisters I ask Allah عز وجل with the best of his names to keep us steadfast on his deen till the day we meet him آمين يا رب العالمين when is the best time of the night? The best time at night is the last third of the night. How can we calculate the last third of the night? Check what is the time for Maghrib and check what is the time for Fajr and divide it by three. For example, let's say that the Maghrib is at 7 p.m. and the Fajr is at 5 a.m. or let's make it easier uh, 4 a.m. that is 5 and 4 9 hours right divided by 3 3 hours so 4 minus 3 from 1 to 4 for example or your Fajr is uh, at your place is at 6 so Divide it between Maghrib and Fajr, and you can find out the exact last third of the night. Why this time is so special? It is very special, the last hour before Fajr. Because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, the one who only speaks the truth told us, and the hadith is in Bukhari. Lend me your ears, my beloved brothers and sisters. Rasulullah said, Our Lord, the Blessed, the Superior, comes down every night to the nearest heaven when the last third of the night remains. And Allah will say, Is there anyone who's making dua so I can answer his dua? Is there anyone to ask me so I might grant him his request? Is there anyone seeking my forgiveness so that I may forgive him? Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> my brothers and sisters, Allah Azza wa Jal descends to the first heaven in a way that befits his majesty. And he is asking, what do you want? I have already spoken about Qiyam in a full episode in the past, but this specific episode is about the last part of the night. My brothers and sisters, every single one of us is going through some kind of hardship. Some of us are going through financial hardship. Some are having problems at home. Some are having uh, physical issues. Some are going through difficulties maybe with their spouses. Some are having problems with their children. Some are having problems with their parents. Every single one of us have some kind of hardship. And Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, at that time, He is saying, Hal min sa'ilin fa'atiyah? Is there one, is there anyone asking for anything so I can give him? Allah is asking the Qadir, the one who can do anything. The Ghani, the all rich, the all mighty, the all powerful, the all wise is asking. So my brother, my sister, if you are serious about your request, then you have to, you must come at that time. You must get up at that time and beg Allah to answer your request. Imagine if you were told that there is a rich man that is coming at 4.30 a.m. and he will grant you whatever you ask for. You will be, you will be there for sure. We're not, asking about, we're not talking about a rich man here. We're talking about the rich himself. We're not talking about a, a major doctor. We're talking about the Shafi himself is asking, 
my brother, my sister, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking, what do you want so I can give you? Let him see you, my brother. Let him see you, my sister, raising your hands at that time, crying and making your request. Say, Ya Allah, you are the only one who could see me right now. Ya Allah, you are the only one who could hear my whisper right now. Ya Allah, you are saying right now, is there anyone asking so I can give him? So Ya Allah, I am asking. Ya Allah, I am asking. And then you mention your request. Ya Allah, you are asking who wants anything so I can give him. Ya Allah, I'm asking you to cure my father. Ya Allah, I'm asking you to guide my children. Ya Allah, I'm asking you to grant me the highest place in Jannah. Ya Allah, I'm asking you to forgive me. Whatever you want, Allah is asking. Allah Azza wa Jal is asking. My brothers and sisters, remember that the one whom all his sins are forgiven, the one who is guaranteed Jannah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to get up at night until his feet are swollen. He used to get up at night with one ayah and cry and cry. Me and you, full of sins, and me and you have no guarantee to enter Jannah. And we are snoring, and we are sleeping, and we are complaining, and we have so many requests. So, the one who's better than me and you is up thanking Allah for all this now. So my brother and sister, get up, get up in the one hour before Fajr, the best hour, and start asking Allah Azza wa Jal from the khayr of the dunya and the khayr of the akhirah. Mix your that hour between reading Quran, between making dua and salat. Divide it. The dua, you could make it by itself or you can make it during your salat, in your sujood or before your taslim. These are the best hours of the night, the best time of the night. Just like when we go to a doctor complaining about some kind of physical illness and he tells us take these pills two in the morning, two at night and then check back with me in ten days and two weeks. My Beloved brothers and sisters, if you're going through any kind of difficulty, get up one hour before Fajr and beg Allah for whatever you need. And don't do it just once and say, oh, nothing happened. No, no, no. Allah loves the one who's consistent. Keep knocking at the door. The door will open. Keep knocking every night, const consistently. Today, tomorrow, every single night until your requests are all answered. And when they are all answered, do not stop. Make more qiyam to thank Allah. Who is the one who made it easy for you to get up in the middle of the night? It is the same one who wants to answer your request. He made it easy for you to get up so he can answer your request. Who inspired you to make this dua? It is him. And subhanAllah, when he inspires us to make a dua, Allah Azza wa Jal wants to answer our dua. So my brothers and sisters, the best time is the time one hour before Fajr, two hours before Fajr. But because we are weak, let's just take one hour before Fajr, half an hour before Fajr, and perform our tahajjud and make a lot of dua. When Allah Himself is asking, 
What do you want so I can give you? I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make us from the people who pray tahajjud. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make our last deeds our best deeds and our last words la ilaha illallah. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashadan la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu